It might seem like it's rare these days for Republicans and Democrats to agree on something. But tonight, both sides of Guilford County's delegation to the General Assembly are coming together to say something needs to be done about a popular app, one you might have on your phone right now. This is imperative. Uh, this is really a national security matter. Republican House Majority Whip John Hardister just sent a letter to Governor Roy Cooper calling for him to ban TikTok on state-owned devices. Hardister's worried about the popular app being owned by a Chinese company. We're not talking about banning TikTok from a private device, but if you work for the U.S. government or for the state government, we don't need the Chinese government uh, gathering data gathering intelligence that could compromise national security. Democrats in North Carolina's General Assembly agreeing some sort of action needs to be taken. I probably would support that, but I would be more comfortable supporting that if, I had, if we had perhaps maybe a committee meeting or something where we discussed it. I do think we should follow the lead of um, the federal government because they are, you know, have more resources and are more aware of the cyber threats and the security threats. This comes after last week when the FBI director also worried that the Chinese have the ability to uh, collect data through it uh, on users, which can be used uh, for traditional espionage operations. TikTok denies it shares data with the Chinese government, telling CBS News that the concerns driving these bans are largely fueled by misinformation about our company. Governor Cooper has not yet responded to the lawmakers' request for a TikTok ban, but a governor's spokesperson did tell me the state is constantly updating guidance to ensure cybersecurity and is reviewing state government use of the, and security guidance surrounding TikTok. Now, Hardister says the General Assembly is willing to take up the issue themselves in a few weeks if the governor doesn't act. It is worth noting, Representative Pricey Harrison's also worried that TikTok is just the beginning. If you ban this, there could be another rap popping up, kind of like playing whack-a-mole. So she would like to see a larger review of how state-owned devices are used in general, not just for TikTok.